to blue. Feel and blue. We are live now. Hey. Got it. Woo, made it. Uh, YouTube, thank you for having us. This is our first live video. Thanks to Doris for setting it up. Uh, and to, I guess, the eight or nine of you who are already waiting. So I appreciate everyone on Earth Day having, having a good time and uh, joining us here in uh, sunny, not so sunny Orlando, Florida. Wow. Looks like there's a storm on the horizon. Yeah. We're monkeying with lighting, last second things. Yeah, I just, I can't see the, um, this monitor. Move it. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's good. Reflections. I'll come on closer when it's time to look at each one. Yeah. Someday we'll get a editing bay where we can cut to uh, pre-done footage. But uh, as it is right now, I'm a better painter than an AV specialist. So I, I need the, the, the Jared and Mark out there to help with that. Um, so anyway, uh, we, uh, we're, we, uh, for those of you joining us, you probably know we've done an Earth Day contest where I believe we had just under about 50 entries. And uh, from all age groups, uh, I was actually pleasantly surprised to see the, the froglets group, which, you know, the, the adults are the frogs, then you do the froglets, and then uh, uh, tadpoles. Uh, uh, and um, basically, playing field was, was very tight, and, and especially in the younger categories. So I'm, I'm, I don't even know how I'm going to come up with something, but we did. Uh, as far as winners, and really everybody who participated, I, I hate to say it, everybody who participated, if you had fun, that's what it's all about. There certainly is... Uh... So, just real quick, by the way, because we're using a brand any comments, so can someone just comment if you can hear? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Toast, toast. <laughs> but uh, we, we did a contest, and... Uh, uh, we're going to try to uh, pick some winners. Uh, there were a lot of really good uh, uh, people joining us for the contest, so I didn't want to, um, to, for, to, you know, to make anyone feel less than... Is this mic turned on? I'm not seeing yeah. any comments coming in. I'm concerned. I have no idea. We've been okay. tested. So I can see it now. <laughs> we look like a, a complete... Well, it's our first time doing YouTube, so it is a it's a good test bed. Is it too loud now? No, it's in the picture. Oh, <laughs> well, sound or picture, one of the two, right? Oh, so. okay. Thank you, Abby. She said she can hear you. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, in the end, uh, we we I, uh, as per last year, I will pick a winner per category and uh, highlight some of the, the unique things I've seen and some of the, the, the best parts of what, I, personally, my opinion, that I saw. And keep in mind, it's just my opinion. And who am I? I mean, really. Uh, I, I've, I've been, I did so many art contests for, for festivals and things and, and watched the judges walk right by. And I, I certainly don't want anyone to feel like that. So uh, this is sort of the anti uh, 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 judging thing. I, I just really want to highlight what I what I liked, and then uh, try to uh, you know really uh, give give some attention to people who put some some time and made unique things. So um, I guess we can you get going. Say, and the, did you say the prize is the picture right there? That's oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. So <laughs> winners, uh, we have a, a just like last year, we have this really great. Uh, uh, re uh, recycled paper that actually, oh, I'm sorry, it's, it's made from one, uh, from not wood sources. Doris. Yes. Uh, it's, um, sure, it's made from sugar cane sugar, byproduct. Right. When, yeah. when the sugar cane is pressed, I don't know if they can hear me because I'm further away from the mic, but when the sugar cane is pressed, it, um, leaves a byproduct, you know, all those extra pieces of the pulp that have been smashed down. And so they take that and right. they make paper from it. Right. It's actually really pretty. It uh -huh. looks like Belgian. I hope that you liked it because I was really pleased the way it turned out. Well, and it also means that now that piece of sugar cane hasn't gone to waste. Yeah. It's not just destroyed. Because usually they just it's burn actually, it. It's yeah. actually, you know, the rest of it now gets used after yeah. they've used what they, they wanted They burn it to run purposes. the factory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, with that in mind, uh, uh, tran transfixed, I think I call it. And uh, we hope you like it for those of you who uh, get to get it. So... Uh, we're going to start with the alt and we'll just go 
go, which is 16 years and older. And, you know, frankly, there's some entries that were in the 9 to 15 year range that I think should really have been in the, the 16 plus. And, and um, it, it's because the, the 9 to 15 was, there was so much good art that they, a lot of them were better than, and, and I mean that sincerely. Moving on. On um, that hurt. Um, the uh, um, the honorable mentions. I'll start with that. Uh, I did uh, Stacy uh, Stacy Y uh, calligraphy. At first, I thought you had printed it, which is really a uh, a testament to what uh, you, what you did here. Because at first glance, I'm like uh, she printed that out. But no, when you look close, she actually did write that out and the calligraphy from someone who shakes a lot is, is so impressive. Um, and uh, on top of that, that you, you were really on message. And one thing I wanted to do with this uh, contest was to make sure that uh, everyone who, uh, who I highlight really did stay on message uh, and provide imagery that looked really good. So with that in mind, uh, Stacy, I wanted to highlight your calligraphy because that was top notch. And also the way you treated Bo, it's almost like a water with the shading of the, 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 the certain uh, parts. I, I actually love the treatment that you did. So uh, definitely high five on that one. And I'll move right into the winner, Rosa L. I, I thought this was... The, the scenery, the, the characters, the, the portrayal of Earth and all its splendor and beauty, I, 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 I really love. And you, you kind of reimagined uh, animals in your style and even the sun in your, in your style. And I, I really enjoyed that. And I love the, uh, some of the things that as an artist I appreciate is, is making things look near, uh, closer and farther. And, and the way you uh, made the grass rich, green, with some contrast, and then as it gets farther away, it gets lighter. The mountains here, the farther away they get lighter and lighter. I thought that was a, a really good technique and uh, a well piece of art. So congratulations, you are this year's frog winner. And so uh, Rosa will need to um, just send yeah, us just... A, a message privately or email, whatever you want to do from the website. Right. Right, so we'll we'll get your information and or send it to us, and we'll uh, we'll hook you up. Ship you your print. Uh, so then, moving on, uh, froglets, and again, this is the toughest category, uh, ages nine to fifteen. Uh, I want to highlight Billy N because this was probably the most effective use of the message. This is what I was hoping everyone would kind of incorporate: uh, is reduce, reuse, recycle, help our planet. I mean, it's all here. And uh, um, definitely, you you were on message, and to me, that's the most important thing. And and you know, even working at a studio, a star isn't always the one that's the most effective because you you definitely want to to communicate, and this communicates so well. So Billy, and thank you for your entry. Uh, and then again, you 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 also drawing humans, which is not an easy thing to do. Um, so next is Delaney R. This is one of my favorite compositions of uh, entire entries. Um, I loved how you treated Bo. That is very um, and uh, incorporating uh, undersea world with, with rich color. I appreciate the hand done element to this. I know how difficult that something like this could be because in, in the end if you slip it's it's all kind of uh, you, you got to start over. So I appreciate the, the level of, of, of color and, and brightness, so really highlighting the undersea world and making it. Um, and so thank you, Delaney R, for a very wonderful entry. You should be very proud of yourself. That's very good. Uh, moving on. Uh, Kira W. Uh, I, I thought this was a very interesting use of metaphor. Uh, in visual uh, terms, and really relaying the message that, uh, you know, the earth is is also animals, and it could also be, you know, something that 
that um, you know when 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 our earth is hurting, so are the animals. So you you portray what I consider a strong use of character that represents something, not just a character for a character's sake, but rather a character as a condition. Mm-hmm. And like what happens above the water affects under the water. Correct. Yeah. So so really that that is to me a very good use of of a message in a character and and I really like the way you highlight that. And plus you made both so very tight. I like that. You know, the little highlights that that doesn't escape me that you did that. You made them look really polished. I like that. I had to pick a winner. To me this is like I said this is the toughest group and uh I kept coming back to this next one because uh, it really had everything for me. It had ambition to do something a little bit more difficult. It had, uh, uh, you know, human characters and uh, an environment that isn't normally rendered, uh, and really went out there. and uh, And I thought it encompassed everything the best, from message to art, execution, and medium. So, uh, Fo- Fotini T, I absolutely think. You did a wonderful job, and I really want to want to commend you for really tying together the entire uh, the entire uh, uh, point of this Earth Day uh, art uh, art contest. Uh, you, you know, you, you show Earth, you show uh, us treating the Earth with care in an environment that is not easy to represent. And you didn't just fill in black; you you artistically used a fade with with your. I assume it's marker. And, and really highlighted that. And uh, obviously you made both a star, and I appreciate that. But I'm also a space lover, so you got brownie points there. Um, so thank you, Fatini, for uh, really doing that well and for being this year's uh, Froglets winner. So thank you, everyone who participated in what was a very, very good field of art. Uh, very, very well done. Uh, so again, Fatini, congratulations. So moving on to our zero through eight, which included a 17 month old. Uh, I'm gonna highlight first, this is our youngest entry to date. And I can tell you at 17 months, I wasn't doing this. Uh, and- uh, I mean, Bo's pretty much in the lines there. I, I mean, Bo's green and uh, you could tell there's definitely uh, uh, grasses I, I and flowers. So, so I, I definitely wanted to highlight uh, Declan H. That's, uh, that's our 17-month-old contestant. So, well done. Artist in the making. I know, right? Uh, Kaden L. Uh, she's the entries uh, really uh, use color so well, and this is one of the ones I want to highlight uh, within that. And I, I think it's watercolor or, or some kind of opaque water-based paint and and I love this is one of my favorite colors I use it a lot uh, but uh, definitely you can see shapes and animals and uh, you know just trying to to make a very pretty picture but also you know she's she's including the message, the message which is important to me especially when we're trying to highlight the day which is Earth Day so uh, for those of you looking at her definitely I, I look for that message uh, and uh, this really, for, for, you know, for ages zero through eight, this is amazing. So I, I appreciate everyone's entry. And in this case, uh, Kate and Al, well done. Uh, Romy M, I believe uh, this is one of our earlier entries because I remember the, the progression up here, which always caught my eye, uh, just to, to, to illustrate, it's, 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 <laughs> If this were a modern art gallery, I would think that this was something very advanced because you're showing growth, and and that in and of itself is an advanced concept. So for for uh, a contestant eight or younger, that's that shows a lot of uh, mental awareness of what you're actually putting down on paper, and then beyond that, it's very colorful, and I love that, um, and uh, just keeping. And from a from a painter's perspective, keeping the lines going without really bleeding in the other one, I could appreciate that. So, well done there, uh, uh, Romy M. And we're gonna move on. 
touched it. Danny K. Uh, I thought this was a really good use of composition. Uh, you have everything from mountains to the trees and the land and the water. So you encompassed what I would consider to be a good earth picture, trying to get as much in there, uh, highlighting uh, the dolphin and the trees and obviously the high mountains. I kind of I kind of think that's a, a really good use. And again, these are these are kids that are under the age of eight. So, I, I mean, I don't think I was eight years old. It's just it's. I keep saying that because I'm just in awe of the talent that that these kids have. Uh, and then of course he's keep our uh, uh, beautiful. Excuse me. So a little pun there. Um, so thank you, Danny K, for the entry. Well done. Um, and finally, our winner, Riley H. And you've heard me say it before, but I love potent colors uh, and technical things like the rainbow, again, keeping uh, the line straight and putting them in the order they should be, and uh, the animals and the plants and the flowers and... Uh, I thought this was extra special, difficult, but also really cool, is the Isle of Earth. It's not just written over top. It was written and then carefully drawn around and filled in. And you can you can tell how much time went into this piece. And, you know, just the, 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 the rays of the sun and making sure all the clouds were, were uh, very well uh, defined. And, uh, you know, the hole in the tree. And you can just imagine... Uh, like this illustrates something. This is this is not an eight year old. Or this is this is a little more advanced than that. This is uh, someone depicting an environment with weather conditions and and uh, you know the the creatures that inhabit that. So I was really impressed, uh, as I am with all the entries, uh, but in the tadpoles ca uh, category, Riley H. Uh, winner and. Uh, uh, from there, I think uh, that's going to be uh, all the, the, the pieces I wanted to highlight. There were so many that I wanted to highlight, but we, we're keeping it to 10 just for brevity. But at the same time, I just want to encourage you, all of you to understand that that this was tough. Like as, from a guy who doesn't like to critique and certainly I, I have my moments where people are, are critiquing my work and I'm like, oh, uh, I know what it's like. So please don't feel disheartened because I literally have never won an art contest. Uh, and it's it's something that you should be proud of if you did. But if you didn't, please understand it's not because you, uh, the work isn't good enough. It's not because uh, someone was better than you. It's just my opinion. And in the end, uh, do what makes you happy, and you will never regret it. So thank you all for joining us uh, for Earth Day, uh, the art contest. And uh, very first YouTube live video, not, and we're going to be learning from this one. Uh, but uh, in in the end, we're we're going to be launching this channel where I hope to do a little bit of uh, how tos, maybe some how did I do that, or how did I become an artist, or maybe even a Disney artist, and uh, start to finish on painting. Start like to the finish. One we have on the easel. Yeah, you, and you already did a little start on that one. I, I, I a lot of you come out and and tell me in person that that watching the videos or reading my Instagram, uh, or or going to uh, uh, Facebook and and watching some of the, the the things I do really helps you with your art. And I am deeply flattered because never in my life would I thought that would pos be possible. But in the end. Uh, I, I certainly don't want to deny anybody, uh, uh, and uh, if I can help, I will. So with that being said, we, we are launching a YouTube channel. We're, we're trying to get some content. I've been very busy with some shows here uh, coming up. I'm, I'm going to be going up to uh, New Jersey, and then, uh, you know, the, the summer is starting to book up now, and fall dates. So it's, it's, uh, we're trying to, to really be uh, productive and get on to uh to youtube and and find a new i mean let's be honest video nowadays is, is kind of king and you, you see like how to vi videos and it's just words on a video <laughs> so uh, i'm trying to pursue some of that 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 bob rossi feel but in so uh with that being said we're we're hoping to see a lot of you subscribe and uh follow us here on the youtube channel 
and uh, we'll uh, we'll see you soon. And there are three winners, yeah. so make sure yeah. you oh, yeah. that they know to Yeah, please, uh, Rosa L. Fotini T., Riley H., please send us your information so we can send you something special, uh, which if we can is... <laughs> Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> there we go. So uh, you'll be getting uh, transfixed here. So, mm -hmm. so much, and uh, I'll see you next Earth Day.